with Walter Lindrum, world's greatest billiards player, entertaining you. This is the cushion cannon shot. The ball is struck at the 10 o'clock position and then something extraordinary happens. After this kind of shot, three balls vanish completely. Master of the nursery cannon, Lindrum shows how he turns the corner with the ball split at a wide angle to force the object ball round the jaw of the corner pocket. And so on, and on, and on until the cues come home. This might be called a shunting shot, but whatever you decide, you can't help calling it amazingly clever. When he sets the balls rolling, they act as if they're bewitched. To the end of the cues, and then goodbye. A massy shot round a snooker triangle. It's one of the most exacting shots in billiards, and slow motion shows how easy it is for Lindrum. A spin shot with a marked ball, so that you can easily see the amount of spin required. The cue ball is struck at the seven o'clock position, and there's back spin, so it'll run along the cushion, and there's side as well, so the ball goes into the pocket off the jaw. The slow motion camera shows the details of the bombardment shot. There are 11 cannons, and the last ball is potted. So terrific is the spin of the cue ball, that it's still spinning as the shot finishes. Three balls touching. The middle ball is fired down the table and comes back off the cushion for a cannon. Now watch it again. It's a shot which Lindrum says can only come off once in a hundred years. It's a sensational fluke. The cue ball comes back and passes between the balls. There was no room for it to go through, but it went through all the same. And Lindrum concludes his entertainment with the Australian confidence trick, in billiards of course. Three balls and three pockets. But the greenest of green bays cannot...